Hello, Shane here on behalf of the Pro Tools Expert blog. Um, just thought I'd like to show you how the Thunderbolt HD box, which is there, is working with a Hackintosh setup. Um, I'll just pull the machine out because, as you moment, it, as you can see, it's a G5 case, um, and show you what's inside. Okay, so this is the internals. If you can see very well, I'll put the specs up in the video. Um, it's a gigabyte motherboard with an i7-2600. Um, obviously, the motherboard's got Thunderbolt enabled. Um, stack of drives, there's an SSD, it's a system drive, and some SATA drives which are for audio and for samples. And there's also an external legacy drive which is for backups. I've taken, as you can see, my um, HD native PCI card out. Um, so I'll just put the lid back on this and switch it on and let you have a look and see what's going on. Machine's running Mountain Lion 10.8.2. Um, there are a couple of adjustments I've actually made to disable the notification centre and some of the other bits that were discussed on the duck. Um, I will put up um, just a slide, I'll, I'll cut it into the video just showing you what I've done if you want to try and replicate it. Um, as you can see it boots up pretty pretty quickly. So now I'll just start Pro Tools up. Oh, before I do that one thing is when you go into the system profiler Thunderbolt shows no hardware don't know why it's a bug but if you have a look in the audio you'll see just here if I zoom in a bit I'm not sure how clear that is but basically the HD native Thunderbolt's listed under audio devices so we know it's been seen and we know it's quite happy Okay, there's Pro Tools booted up. I'll, I've created a just a blank session for the test, so I'll just open that now. And you can see in the hardware box it's showing my Omni. Unfortunately, I'm in the middle of moving, so the setup's just in, in the dining room at the moment because there isn't a new studio building yet. So I'm a bit limited with the inputs and stuff I can use, but it doesn't really change what I'm going to show you on the test anyway. Um, so that's that. I'll just quickly show you playback engine. We've got HD native Thunderbolt, 32 samples, using 7 of the 8 processors at 99%. Um, I've got 6 gig of dish, disk cache. Um, could have 12, but I mean it doesn't really really matter anyway um, there's 16 gig of memory in here so that's that seems to be enough for what I'm doing anyway so um, so there we go so that's the session if we I don't know if you can see the CPU meter up there I'll try and zoom in a bit there you go it's sat well, about seven eight percent something like that so I think we go straight for it and what I'll do is I'll create 256 mono audio tracks so you can see straight away obviously the voice count goes red um, and the CPU is now bouncing around about 25, 26. So if I record enable on these, we're still sat 27, 28%, something like that. So I'll just set this off to record. So as you can see, we're recording on 256 tracks there. Sorry, I'll, let me just zoom out. Of course, you can't see the tracks, can you? So, there we go. So, we're recording, like I said, on 256 tracks. 
down there. There's nothing coming in on the waveforms at the moment because it's just recording. I will do it again in a minute with um, a microphone plugged in, just picking up background noise, just to show that I'm not cheating or anything. Um, the CPU is still sat, bouncing around between 25, 28%, something like that. You can see there's nothing coming in, but it's all there. It's all real. Um, all the tracks are in there, record enabled. Um, right away, so that's whoa, about one minute, ten seconds so far. As you can see, there's not been any glitches, errors, or problems. Just to give you a bit more detail, I don't know if you can see on there because I know. There we go. Can we see what's going on there? I think that's a bit clearer. So I'll just I'll just leave this running for a bit and see what we can do. I think I'll probably run out of disk space before it has any problems but we'll let, I'll let it run for a few minutes and see what happens. Okay so that's been running for just coming up to five minutes now with no problems so what I'll do while you're actually able to still see it is um, I will st I'll, I'll stop the play I'll stop the recording obviously it's going to take a few seconds to sort this caches out and everything for actually halt and then what I'll do is I'll just go back into Playback Engine just to show that it is still sat at 32 samples. Okay, here we go. That's five minutes now then. So I'm just stopping it now. You can see it's still chuntering away, trying to sort itself out. Because obviously there's a lot of audio data there. And there we go. Right, so that's, that's that done. Just quickly back into Playback Engine. There we go. don't know if you can see. I'll zoom in a bit. still at 32 samples everything as it was so there you go so mountain lion seems to be running excellently um, although I did have a lot of problems before I made those tweaks I mentioned the i7 Hackintosh absolutely fantastic no problems at all HD Thunderbolt bloody brilliant let's just hope the Avid do something because I think I'd like to swap my card for one of these I think it's fantastic brilliant stuff Okay, so one last thing, um, as I said, I've just plugged in my Centronics STC2 microphone into the Omni. It's gone into the front of the Omni there. Just picking up background, you can probably see it moving up and down as I'm talking. I'll just hit record again, 256 tracks, again, 32 samples. There we go, 32 samples, just zoom in on that for you a second. So there we go, 32 samples, everything the same as before. Um, like I say, except we do actually have an input this time. Okay, so I'm going to record enable it, and off we go. So now we're actually writing audio data um, of sorts, <laughs> not very loud. Let me turn the gain up on this a bit, then you actually see some stuff happening. Maybe we'll get some clipping or something going on. <laughs> Okay, one, two, three. Right, so there we go. You can see the audio is going in, no problems. Processor exactly the same as before. Sat around, well, it's 25, 26. Yeah, around right about that, 27, 28 maybe. Um, all seems very, very happy. Um, hopefully you can see as my voice is going in, we're getting some clips and stuff on the waveforms so it's all doing exactly as it should do so like I say no difference I'll only let this run for a minute or so just so it's not gonna get boring really uh, in fact what I'll do is I think I'll stop the video now let it run for a couple of minutes um, and then come back to you okay so here we go we're at I don't know about three minutes or so exactly the same no problems at all so I'll just stop it let it sort itself out get all this audio data written down to the hard drive um, right there we go once again just back in the playback engine just to show you if I can actually get it to focus
you go. Well, hopefully you can see that, but it's 32 samples, exactly the same settings as I had earlier. Nothing's changed, and it's all working fine. So, like I said, fantastic bit of kit. Let's hope Avid do us a nice exchange, um, and we can use our laptops as well. Great stuff. Okay, um, this is Shane saying goodbye, and thank you very much to Russ for lending me this box to do this test and to make me want one. So thank you, Russ. Cheers.